Okay, so hi, welcome back to uh, Little T PlayStation is. This is episode four. My gas is as good as yours. And at the end of the last episode, we kind of built the foundations for uh, an airlock um, and a little greenhouse here, um, complete with windows and walls. Uh, I, I may, over the course of this episode, kind of, you know, make it look a little prettier from the outside um, but you know we'll, we'll see how, how things go there so um, where were we with our airlock right so we had uh, our gas sensor put down uh, we had our area power control put down we had connected everything up with uh, cables we had a console into which we put our airlock chip um, we put our data disk in there ready to to configure it when the when the time comes uh, we connected up some pipes which go kind of up and over here um, on both sides uh, to, to begin with we're just going to use this one side here uh, for our um, regular airlock and thinking about it I have put the uh, active vent there on the wrong side why will will become uh, clear uh, very shortly, in fact, right? So, um, so we need to put our our active vent um, feeding and taking air in and out of this room, right? Instead of you know pumping it out into uh, the room, right? So, um, what do we need now? We need to. Um, we need a few more cables, am I, am I right? No, we don't need a few more cables. What we need is to connect the power with these um, heavy cables here to this battery output, right? So, um, so yeah, yeah. Uh, something I did forget to mention in the last episode, talking about the, uh, the transformer versus the area power control is that um, if you set up uh, logic chips in particular uh, like this um, you do need to make sure that um, the transformer is connected to a power source that is not likely to um, um, run out of power one of the main advantages of a, of a area power control is this battery, right? As I, as I kind of mentioned in a, in a previous episode, um, this this battery kind of acts as like an emergency emergency power. Um, you know, in, in the case that you know this battery runs out or whatever, uh, which is why we're using um, an area power control in something like the airlock, uh, because once you've connected up all the data turned on all the stuff here um, it becomes impossible <laughs> to open the door you, you, you can get stuck right uh, inside if, if the power goes out so um, shortly we'll be we'll be making a battery to go in here um, and just because it's in the way I'm just going to close this for a moment um, so that I can uh, connect the, the cable So, right, we're going to build this like up and over, right? Um, yep. Because <clears throat> there's certain parts of doors, right, where um, the you, you can't like put cables or pipes and things like through them. Um, so, you know, I mean, you could spend the time that it takes to, to figure out like um, where you can put cables and, and, and pipes, uh, or you can just avoid the door altogether, and uh, it's infinitely quicker. Um, so let's put this cable down here, um, and uh, is that going to go into the floor? It is, right. Uh, cables or something else, I mean, I, I, we, we 
kind of sort over there with the battery. Um, you can build cables uh, anywhere as well, right? So you don't need to um, connect them to walls or um, you know frames or whatever, um, which is kind of cool. Well, let's just build a big old straight line here. Um, and yeah, we are going to need some more of these cables. Okay, let's just get it lined up. Right? Um, and then we'll, um, we'll get on and uh, bring out some more. Heavy cables, right? So we need a, a few more of those. Um, on. We had a we had a light somewhere. Uh, <laughs> now it's in, in in our bag, right? Um, okay. So so now that we have um, got this cable coming out, right? We can and the pipes here. Um, we can now fill out um, these these three frames here. So let's let's do that quickly while the um, cables are printing right because we know now that we're, we're not going to use uh, we're not going to build into these these frames anymore right? so let's, yeah. let's just do that um, okay um, it, it occurs to me that like because you can build walls right you don't really need these frames here but um, I, I to be honest like with an airlock in particular uh, I just I just like frames better because um, you know it gives this kind of uh, grand entrance kind of uh, uh, <laughs> aesthetic right so um, where we go okay so I think we can probably use this small battery At least for, for the purposes of this video, right? I mean, you know, ordinarily I, I would probably use um, uh, a large battery. Uh, later on, you can build like nuclear batteries, which um, which are cool, um, and they last a very, very, very long time. Um, and now that this is uh, all connected up, let's. Let's uh, connect up this uh, cable here for our, for our light. Okay. Um, all right. I, you could put a uh, flashing light in here, but I'm not going to do that today. Um, okay. Now for lights, you have different, um, many different options here. What is this? A, light, a ground light. Let's, let's do that, right? And so with the light, you, you press on, right, to turn it on. So just give it a little click, and, and it'll turn on. Let's put that battery in here, and you'll see as soon as we do that. Um, okay, so the light uh, is now on, right? So we have light, which is amazing. Um, okay, so at the moment, these doors uh, are like regular doors right um, you, know, you can open and close them uh, at will um, we're gonna need in order to complete this airlock uh, we're gonna need a passive vent here right uh, once we've once we've kind of built that um, I'll get into uh, how it all works right so um, to build uh, no, that's not what we wanted to do. So to build um, uh, passive vents, um, as you'll, you'll see here, there, right? They're not in this list. They're not in the electronics printer. We are going to need to build a hydraulic pipe bender, okay? And 
this is the piece of equipment or rather the 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 machine um, that will build you all of your amazing um, atmospheric equipment right which is what we're about to get into now um, so hydraulic pipe bender let's pump that out uh, it's gonna take a little while to build um, I really wish they would start you um, you know they start you with an active vent uh, I, I presume for the furnace rather than for anything else um, but um, I really wish they would start you off with also a, um, a passive vent uh, it, it would just make a lot of things uh, a little bit easier um, okay so we're running low on filters too um, right so my filters almost out you know, it's, it's just possible that um, my filter could run out before my food um, you know, if, I, if I don't do something quickly. Um, but not to worry, because in the hydraulic pipe bender, um, you'll find uh, basic filters. I, I think they just take uh, a few units of iron to, to build. Uh, there are more complex filters. Uh, there's a medium and a heavy um, but they need uh, slightly more advanced uh, resources you know, alloys and things so we're not we're not really in a in a in a you know way to in a shape to to build just yet um, you know and uh, this I mean this moon series is is pretty much like basic survival right so I'm not gonna get too deep into um, to all that good stuff right so the only reason I'm, I'm going to do the, the advanced dialog at all is um, just because at the beginning of the series I said people could uh, follow along on Mars and so, um, you know, uh, Mars having an atmosphere, you, you need a two-way airlock, right? So, so because there's no atmosphere on the moon, um, we only need an airlock that is going to suck all the air out of this room uh, and I'm going to need to eat. Let, let me eat first and then I'll <laughs> get on with uh, get on with uh, what, what this advanced airlock is all about. So, so. Pressure critical. Okay. Temperature critical. Uh, it's going to be really nice to, to, um, to be able to eat uh, without endangering my life I have to say um, so um, yeah so this this uh, yeah I, I know I know thank you so um, this airlock right so you know you imagine right that um, there's atmosphere in here right and um, um, the uh, the airlock is functioning right so I'm gonna get in here and I am going to you know, press the button to like go outside right um, in the end you know you can use either the console or, or the door buttons but um, so I'm gonna press the the button to to uh, open the door to go outside right so what's gonna happen is this door is gonna close uh, this will suck all the air out of this this room right um, and once we've built our passive vents Will, it will suck all the air out and put it back into this room um, via the passive vent that we're going to put here. Okay, um, and because there's no atmosphere, right? Uh, when this door opens, nothing is going to come in, right? Because um, it's um, it's a vacuum, right? So on the moon. Uh, and and in creative mode, right? And uh, I don't know if you've had a look at the uh, the, the uh, world options when you when you start a new game, but there's there's one with like asteroids, right? Which is creative mode where you can kind of mess around with uh, with some things. And I may I may use that to do uh, some short tutorials on how to do some stuff, um, you know, so that you you don't have.
have to sit through one of my hour-long videos, right? So, um, um, yeah, so, I mean, neither of them have atmosphere, right? So, so you only need a simple airlock, which is basically, you know, um, suck the uh, air out of the small room, put it back into the big room, So we're going to probably like interfere here with the, with the solar panel, but I'm kind of um, at a point where I, I'm not too bothered by that right now. Um, so, okay, the hydraulic pipe bender, uh, bender even, um, you know, constructs again in the same way as the, um, the other two, um, the other two machines. Um, so we're going to need some of those iron sheets again. Um, and we're going to need a couple of plastic sheets, right? So we, we will need to print those out. Um, okay. So there's our... Um, okay. Um, we're going to need to print out uh, regular cable coil. I, I do hope that we have... We don't have enough copper. Okay, that's because it's in here, right? Okay. Okay. Oh. Just put it in there for safekeeping. Oh, yep, yep. That makes sense. Um, so, okay, let's print out the one cable card that we're going to need. Uh, let's add this to this stack in our hand, right, um, okay, um, no, plastic sheets, T, plastic sheets, um, yep, so we need two, and where's our silicon, where's our silicon, in? we don't have any silicon, are we, are we serious, we used it all, uh, but we did, I'm pretty sure have some plastic sheets uh, left over. Um, oh no. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, pause the recording while we go get some plastic sheets. Okay. So it's late and I'm blind, right? Uh, they're sitting there all, all along. Um, So let's turn this on. All right, weld this. Um, and there we go. All right, there's our Atmos print hydraulic pipe. Okay. Now we're going to need uh, to connect this up, right? So. Yeah. Oh, we're out of copper. Okay. So lucky we have um, some more. What do we not? We really don't. Okay, let's pause the video and get some copper. <laughs> All right. Alrighty. So we found like a, a little stack of, of 32 copper. Um, so that's that's pretty nice. Um, let's. Uh, let's smelt that up real quick. I would have liked to have used the, uh, the, the gas furnace, but um, it's kind of out of commission at the minute. <laughs> but okay, so yeah, we'll, uh, we'll have this copper in a minute. Um, and I think maybe the first thing that I'm going to want to print with it is um, it's a filter to be honest because you know I've used two uh, already during the course of this series um, you know so uh, it might be it might be a smart move to just print out like you know one or two more
just to make sure that we don't die, right? Because another one of the uh, the um, effects of um, playing on uh, Stationeer's difficulty is that when you die, um, you respawn naked, right? So uh, <laughs> no no helmet, no suit, no nothing, right? Um, and Pretty much it means that uh, if you are not close to where you died, um, you know, and you haven't built some kind of atmosphere uh, in which to, to take refuge, um, uh, it's, it's kind of game over, right? Um, because you, you, you can't salvage your, your suit from your dead body. Which I kind of like. Uh, I think it was it was missing, right? Like, you know, kind of true survival mode um, was was uh, was kind of missing from the game. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of glad they, they they put that in uh, recently. Um, you know, it wasn't like last week, but it you know, um, it's, it's a relatively recent. have our <laughs> wow we have our hydraulic pipe bender set up um let's uh get our tuba out let's put okay oh yeah where did they come from i took the wrench i guess from the the lander uh, for some reason the lander comes with a with a with a spare wrench don't know what that's for but um anyway yeah enough enough of that so let's turn this on and um go back here to the um, um airlock here to remind ourselves what we were going to make here so we needed an active vent uh, and two passive now, for the basic airlock, we're only going to use one of the uh, uh, active vents. So, I'm going to build the things here. Um, that's very strange. My, my suit, everything is suddenly going much faster. So I don't know what is going on there. Um, maybe I pressed some kind of uh, go faster button. I, I don't know. So, okay. So, we need... CO2 filter um, because filters um, filter out um, whatever it is that they uh, say on the right. Um, so, you know, I'm breathing, right? And the CO2 filter is, um, is filtering uh, from this well, from my helmet, um, it's filtering out the, the CO2 into this waste tank here, right? So, um, what do we need? We need, uh, I, I think, we're probably going to need a, a wall heater real soon, but, uh, uh, but I'll, I'll get to that when it um, becomes a thing. Um, we're going to need... Um, we're going to need one active vent. Okay. Did we not take the copper out of this? Okay. There we go. Um, wow. Those shadows. So we're going to need one active vent. Right? Um gonna need one two sorry two passive vents um, yes put that back okay I'm gonna need to stop that right okay. uh, 
let's for now let's just drop this here because um, it's only going to confuse things but we will place this uh, passive then right so it needs to and we're going to place this passive vent. Okay, now one thing about airlocks, right, is, is we're going to need uh, some kind of pressure in here, right? So when you spawn in, you have on this, on the lander here, um, this portable oxygen tank. So we're going to disconnect that. Taking care not to stand, you know, too near it, um, because <laughs> that happens, right? Um, and it might break your helmet, and that's not cool. Um, okay. Now this is a, a risky moment because uh, the, the devs still haven't quite figured out um, um, the picking up of things like this, right? Uh, it's it's 90% reliable, but occasionally uh, it, it can be kind of dangerous, right? So we're gonna um, fly this in here, we're gonna drop it down, right? Um, and we're gonna use it to put some kind of pressure into this room, right? So the first thing we're gonna do is close the door so that, you know, uh, all that air um, doesn't escape. Now, once we have open this valve we have to ensure that we manually use this uh, as an airlock right um, and we could vent it um, manually I suppose uh, but, um, but yeah we could but we're not going to um, instead we're just gonna let the, the air out here and you're gonna see immediately like stuff is going to happen here uh, and all around us um, the pressure here is going up um, and because the pressure is going up we now have uh, ambient sound right um, which is amazing okay so we have um, 40 I think it's going to end up being around 40 kPa uh, which is actually enough for us to um, not die. Uh, and 13 degrees is great for us, but not so great for plants, right? Um, so one solution to, uh, let's call it the plant problem, <laughs> uh, instead of using like wall heaters and, and, and things, right? Um, we can use like flares to, to heat up a space, uh, it takes a little while, um, and it's you know uh, it's a little ugly, um, but it but it does work. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna go the the um, uh, let's call it the the, um, the right way, right? Um, okay. So I think. Before we, we do anything, I'm just going to build like a little um, uh, exit here um, for these these cables, right? Um, just so we have a, a, a place for power to come into this room, okay? Um, so we, we have an atmosphere, which is amazing. And I'm going to open up my suit, right? And as you can see, uh, I'm not dying. I'm not getting all those warnings, right? Um, which is fantastic. Uh, what we don't have in here is is any way at the moment to uh, scrub the room, right? So you know, uh, slowly but surely, it is going to fill up with uh, gases we don't want to be in here, right? Um, so here is a good moment to have a look at the atmosphere analyzer. Um, and as you see, it's telling us that we have um, a small percentage of CO2. Uh, but as long as you don't get a warning here that tells you uh, toxin detected, um, then the levels are okay. But it is going up, as you
as you see, right? Because I'm, you know, breathing out, right? So, um, uh, yeah. Um, in this game, uh, you don't need to have uh, uh, an earth composition of, of atmosphere, but, you know, for the purposes of, like, role play and, and you know, um, feeling like an awesome superstar uh, stationer, uh, I, I do like to try to get it around about 21% uh, oxygen and kind of 78% uh, N2, right? Um, but that is the atmosphere. It basically tells you the composition of the atmosphere um, uh, of uh, the room you're in, uh, but also it tells you, once we get to that, um, it tells you what is in pipes. Um, the same way that the network analyzer, when you when you focus on a particular cable, um, it tells you you know what's uh, what the current is going through that um, that uh, cable. The atmosphere analyzer will tell you uh, what is happening with um, with the uh, the pipe that you're focusing on, right? So. Um, Another way to to put atmosphere into a room, uh, I'm not going to do it now. Um, but another another way you could put atmosphere into a room would be to put some oxide in your hand, uh, provided the space you're in is is above freezing. Um, the oxide would begin to melt, and and would uh, would pressurize uh, the room a little bit too. So let, let's just um, let's just do that like for a couple here, right? Um, so it's melting, right? Uh, and you'll see the pressure goes up um, a little bit uh, because we just put some uh, we just melted some oxygen into the room, right? Um, you know, so if if you've uh, you have a good photographic memory <laughs> or you want to go back in the video. Uh, you can see the difference in the composition of the atmosphere there, right? So, um, you know, uh, so you know, in a in a in a pinch, um, you know, if you just need um, more pressure in in a probably better in a larger kind of space than this, but if you just need a, a little kick to the to the pressure in, in your in your base, um, you know, slowly. And very in a very controlled way, uh, letting oxide go uh, free and, and melt um, is a, is a is a quick and dirty way to um, to pressurize your base, right? Um, it's okay. Let's just uh, tuck this over here for now. Um, actually, no. Let's try the other corner because this is where the plants are going to go, right? So the plants are going to need like slightly warmer. Here, right? So let's turn this on. Um, we have uh, glass door exterior, uh, glass door uh, exterior, right? Now, this is where the labeler comes in very handy because you know we don't know which glass door is which glass door, right? Um, so we're gonna so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put this to, to vent, right? So remember, um, okay, so you see, you see what is happening here, right? Is that, um, let's close our helmet. Um, so what is happening here is that um, this active vent is sucking all the air out of this area. Um, uh, because atmosphere works in cells in this game, right? So. It's sucking all the air out of here, and it's putting it into into like passing it through this passive vent and putting it into this room, right? So we can now pretty much safely close this door, um, wait for the pressure uh, to to get down to zero. Um, you know, we are now standing in a vacuum. Uh, we're going to keep this on here, right? Um, you know, just because. We're gonna open this door, okay? So we've we've kind of manually vented uh, this room uh, in order to to maintain the um, the uh, pressure.
pressure uh, inside to, to keep our air, right? Um, so, um, yeah, did our, did our active vent like fly in there with the, uh, with the wind, or, or did it fly out of here? Okay. Um, so we're just gonna, we're gonna, um, uh, let me just fix that there for now, just to keep it somewhere. Um, so what we uh, we're gonna do here, right? We're gonna have a look at this cable here. Um, and I don't like cables sticking out like that, uh, so we're going to remember where it was, right? Um, and then we're going to just make a little corner here so that um, it comes out all uh, nice and neat, right? Um, okay, so we needed uh, the labeler. That's what we needed. So the labeler is a tool that is extremely useful. Uh, particularly when it comes to making um, uh, airlocks um, and when it comes to making um, you know logic circuits like this right um, you can rename this to you know um, uh, lob right and it will um, it will be easier to identify um, you know when you're when you're looking at say this here, right? So you know, the, the input for this logic reader is the daylight sensor, right? And like I said, when, when we put this together, right, all of them have different um, names. And there's only one of each. So it's pretty easy to know uh, which one uh, you want to be the input here, right? But let's imagine we were, we were doing uh, uh, this solar setup um, on, on Mars, you know, with the eight degree offset to the um, to the horizontal angle of the Sun uh, or even worse on like Europa where I think it's like 38 degrees offset um, you know we would have a vertical sensor and a horizontal sensor right um, so you know if we tried to to figure out what the input here was we'd get you know two things called daylight sensor so you know uh, we would have no idea which one um, was which, right? Uh, we'd have to basically guess, um, <laughs> you know, uh, and it's it's a lot more fun to guess, I, I, I suppose, but, um, you know, we're just going to call this um, uh, solar angle, right? Um, we change the name of this to solar angle, uh, what's going to happen is you're going to see here now that it is uh, also saying the input here is solar angle, right? So it's just easier to um, manage your stuff, right? Um, so uh, let's just rename that uh, to, to what it was. Uh, we're probably never ever going to touch this again, but you know, let's just rename that, right? So we're going to call this door here. external door, right? Uh, and really, I mean, if there's only two doors, you only really need to name one, right? To, to, um, uh, to make it different, but we're gonna name both of them. Uh, and we're gonna call this one, um, we're gonna call this one internal vent, okay? Um, because when you come to, uh, do a, an advanced airlock, and again, this is a tool, so it can go in the tool belt. Um, you're going to need an internal door and an internal vent. You're going to need an external door and an external vent, right? Uh, we don't need to bother naming the, the passive vent, so the gas sensor, uh, you know, or even the console, um, but you can do that. Um, but you, you really do need to name We go ahead and close this door. Um, we're gonna turn this off. Uh, we're gonna turn uh, this on, right? And so you'll see now, right, that um, we have the external door is the exterior, the internal door is the interior, the 
the gas sensor and then the internal vent uh, and then it should see I know <laughs> I always forget with these basic airlocks right so okay let's start again right so we go external door internal door internal vent gas sensor Very long time since I did this. Okay, so <laughs> uh, I'm better with uh, uh, advanced airlocks. I do promise. Right? Okay, so let's plug that. Okay, so uh, let's open this door. Right? Let's do external door. Internal door gas sensor and vent, right? So, okay, one of the doors has to be open. That's it, right? Um, so, you know, um, probably best to um, open the, the external door. Uh, but when we hit this now, what is going to happen is uh, this door is going to close. Then this uh, airlock, this... Um, um, active vent is going to pull in uh, I think it, it goes up to 101 kilopascals on the on the basic airlock if I'm if I'm not mistaken um, and you know you, you see on your suit right like as the pressure goes up um, you know there's the external pressure um, uh, meter here um, when it goes above the point where you um, where you are able to survive, um, you know the warning uh, disappears here, right? So um, okay, so let's open up our helmet. Okay, here we are, like in, in lovely oxygen, right? Um, let's have a look at the atmosphere composition here, right? Um, now what, what's going to happen is now this door is going to open and then there's going to be like a wind, right? Um, but that's an airlock, right? Um, that is a functioning airlock uh, that will keep the atmosphere steady in this room. Um, now what uh, I'm sure you have noticed is that when we left this room the temperature in here was 13 degrees or 12 or 13 degrees right um, and the temperature now has gone up and that is uh, because the Sun is shining through the windows right uh, which is great for plants uh, but we're gonna need some way to to regulate the temperature okay um, now this is something that we're going to get to uh, I think in the next episode the first thing we're going to do in here is um, close our helmet, right? We're going to cycle to exterior with our brand new airlock. Um, you know, so okay, so like I say, right? On on Mars, um, the the airlock that we just set up here um, is is uh, is okay. Um, but what is going to happen because on Mars? Um, out here you have like two kilopascals of, of atmospheric pressure um, full of uh, toxic co2 uh, what's going to happen is every time this door opens um, you know the the the, um, the basic airlock is going to uh, evacuate all the air from uh, from this this space here the airlock so you're not going to lose atmosphere from your your base but what is going to happen is every time this door opens two kilopascals of, of atmospheric pressure you know that is like 99 percent co2 is going to flood into this space right and then when you cycle the airlock 
and this door closes, you still have uh, the two kilopascals of 99% CO2, and then this door opens after this uh, active vent pulls in uh, the air from your base, and then this door opens, uh, and you know the, the the air that it pulled in from your base plus the air um, that you dragged in from from outside is then going to go into your base and it's going to contaminate the atmosphere, right? So for that reason, you're going to need to build um, a uh, an, an advanced airlock. Um, it's, it, you know the, the process is pretty similar, um, but um, I'll go through it. Uh, you know what? Probably now in, in uh, a separate tutorial. To be honest, I think I'll, I'll I'll put a as soon as I get around to doing it, I'll I'll put a a, a link in the description of this video uh, for you know a quick quick and dirty tutorial um, on how to make an advanced airlock uh, for, for people on uh, a planet with an atmosphere, right, because, you know, um, it's, it's, it's not really going to work on Mars, uh, on Mars, on the moon, uh, because, you know, there's no atmosphere to, to pull in, I would have to make, you know, uh, a separate space here with another atmosphere to, to kind of demonstrate it. Um, so what we're going to do instead here is uh, build some things to put plants inside very quickly here I'm gonna eat my last cereal bar um, which is cool um, okay so we, we are gonna use the quick and dirty uh, <laughs> flare technique here to, to warm up the, um, the room right um, okay so let's eat that right um, yes I think that is how we're gonna we're just going to heat up the room um, so that, you know, when we come to the next episode, uh, we're kind of ready to... I'm going to put that back in here. We're kind of ready to um, to start thinking about how to, like, you know, control heat and, and temperature and these things, right? Um, so we're not going to need that. Uh, we're probably not going to need those. Okay, so um, right. So so this we'll we'll probably use uh, shortly um, to to um, to do some some gas regulation here. Because what what I kind of want to do eventually with this room now is um, uh, put in um, in a more controlled way uh, put in um, the atmosphere you know, with oxide and, and the uh, oxygen canister there, um, you know, it's pretty much all or nothing and you have no no control, no way to to regulate how much pressure goes in, you have no um, no way to, to regulate, you know, uh, uh, the limit of the pressure, you know, so it's, it's, it's really just a box <laughs> that you, like a balloon, right, like a box that you filled with air. Um, so, okay, enough rambling and babbling for, for me. Uh, let's get on and uh, build, uh, let's say, like five of these hydroponic trays. Um, or maybe one. How about that? Uh, since we don't have the iron to build <laughs> anymore. Um, all right, let's, it's okay. We've got some in here. So let's. Um, so, okay, this is a hydroponic tray. Uh, we do have, um, um, unless this is not a thing in, um, we have, right, so we have portable hydroponics here. Um, so I'm thinking maybe we could, um, yeah, we could look at that. Um, but th to be honest, you know, since, since we've come this far without using the, portable uh, stuff, um, uh, 
we do need this water tank, uh, which is quite important. Um, but since we've come this far without using um, uh, the portable stuff, um, I think we'll just continue without um, without doing that. Right, so okay, there's our iron. We can build uh, a few more of these. Um, that's gonna let us build uh, one, and then two. Um, uh, let's just do four, right? Um, we don't really need uh, that much food for, for just for just me, right? Um, so let's, um, let's put that in here. Let's uh, grab some pipes. Um, we're gonna need. Let's just build some more here. A pipe organ. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, that's new. Okay. Um, so we're building a pipe, right? Uh, and again, like the cables, they come out one by one. So um, we are almost out of time here, uh, but I think we, we should have enough time to um, to set up the, the plants, uh, heat the room a little bit, um, and and allow the plants to kind of start growing. Right um, now. Uh, I have not intensively tested um, the, the low uh, temperature threshold for, for plants, um, but I, I, you know, everything that I've uh, read or watched uh, on the game, um, I, I've seen people talk about how you need CO2 in the atmosphere, I've seen people talk about how um, the temperature needs to be like around 35 degrees. Um, you know, uh, but but I I have grown plants in uh, an atmosphere. You know, it was 101 kPa. Uh, I will say that it was 101 kilopascals. I have grown plants in uh, a regulated ambient temperature of, of 21 degrees uh, C. So um, you know, unless something has changed in, in, the, in the recent uh, patches they've made. I'm I'm gonna go with uh, my experience rather than uh, what I've seen or, or, or read or heard other people uh, tell me is, is the way to do it, right? Um, you know, and um, we're better to be absolutely wrong than uh, on YouTube, right? So you know, if uh, <laughs> if uh, if I embarrass myself in public, surely that's that's uh, that's a win, right? Um, okay, so like these can go, uh, you know, um, uh, back to back, right? You don't need to space them out. But I'm gonna do that just for aesthetic purposes, um, um, you know. Uh, that's why I wanted five, really. But you know, um, it's, it's okay. Uh, and. Just gonna put in. Oh, yeah, I knew I forgot something. Um, okay, so we're gonna we're gonna put in uh, like a corner here, um, another little corner. Right, we're just gonna set up like a little. Um, you know what? They really shouldn't be there. Um, so. Let's um, let's set it up like this, right? Because that's in the middle there, right? So let's let's make it look really pretty, right? Um, pipe here, pipe here, pipe here, pipe here, pipe here, pipe here, 
pipe here, pipe here, pipe here, and we can build like, you know, okay, hmm, isn't that funny, um, kind of see what I'm doing here um, in a moment. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more um, of these, right? Um, so let's do that. It's, you know, when you, when you have your first um, airlock space, uh, I don't know about you guys, but like, um, it really, it really starts to feel like home, right? You know, before you're just like on the moon, you're doing stuff, doing things, right? But once you have an airlock and you can take off your helmet, um, it really has this like, uh, I'm at home kind of feeling, right? Um, okay, so we, we've got the pipes that we need, so let's, um, let's smelt some more of this iron. Smoke some more of this iron. Let's um, not do pipes. Let's do um, a tank. Not a tank connector. We need a um, a canister storage. That's what we need here. Um, and what we're going to do with this is we're going to place it down. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Um, we're going to place it down uh, where I made the T-junction in those uh, pipes. We're going to place it down and we're going to put the um, water tank here into uh, that canister. Um, and hopefully we'll have enough water in, in, in the canister to, to uh, feed the plants. Uh, if not, then, you know, maybe we'll all die and So what was I looking for here? I wanted um, I wanted more um, hydro kit hydroponic tray. That's right. So I wanted more of that, right? So uh, I can build here another uh, five. Um, so I think maybe that'll be enough. kind of for what I want to do. Um, you know, bearing in mind that, you know, I, I want, I've been trying <laughs> to um, to put out videos of, of you know, uh, in and around uh, an hour. Um, we're almost there, right? So um, I kind of don't want to spend too long doing this. There's always a way to uh, <laughs> to manage your things, right? There's always a way to manage your inventory. Okay, so look, we, we had eight spaces, right? And so I think really I only needed like three. Um, three, what do you call it? Three pipes, but you know, whatever. Okay, so let's go back inside. Um, set up these other, um, these other, Because I know, let's cancel the pressurize, right? So let's just open the door and, and you know, um, because it's not, it's not really that important at the minute. So, um, okay, so one there, one there, one there, and, you know, let's 
just make it look at least uh, some way um, um, intentional, right? So let's uh, that there. Well, you know, that looks how it looks, right? So, okay, so you can see here, right, that the, um, the I mean, you could put like three, uh, they can go, you know, next to each other and, and back to back. Right, so you could put like nine of these trays on, on one frame, um, you know, and and that would be perfectly fine, right? Um, let's just make sure here that everything is all connected up. Uh, let's take out our pipe connector, um, uh, our gas tank storage rather, right? Uh, and this has a, a data um, port so that you can read uh, the value pressure here. Um, now we're gonna just uh, have a look here very quickly uh, before um, we um, we finish up. Um, tell you what, we're gonna we're gonna do the flare thing first, right? So we're gonna just right click, hold down right to uh, not this one to drop this flare. Now, already the, the temperature in here is like 20 degrees, right? So um, we're going to need to start thinking, instead of heating the place, we're going to need to start thinking about cooling it down, right? Um, so we are going to, uh, yeah, so let's grab this again, right? Um, yeah, so the temperature's going up. I mean, it's not really... Uh, uh, major issue until it gets kind of to around 36, 37 degrees, um, you know, and then it does start to get too hot for the plants, right, once it gets to like 40, 45. Um, so let's put the water in there, right, and as, as you may or may not have uh, observed, right, that the pressure in the tank before we put it in was 370 kilopascals, right. Uh, now it is 8.9 kilopascals, right? So that is because the pressure from this tank um, has equalized, right? It's gone all the way around these pipes and it has uh, evenly distributed itself through this pipe network, right? So we have the ambient atmosphere and the atmosphere in the pipe, right? Which is what I talked about. And if you see here, right, it's like pure water, right? Uh, and here we have the atmosphere that we saw before right so very quickly before we I'm gonna grab this flare because I don't really think that we, we need it um, okay so let's cycle to exterior right let's uh, have that air go in there um, and okay so let's just drop that here um, and I think we're gonna grab uh, some ferns, and we're going to grab, let's see my power here, 10%, okay. So we're going to grab uh, the plants, right? Um, to begin with, um, I'm just going to like swap the ferns for um, this e-reader. Uh, what that is basically is, is um, uh, a portable version of the uh, station PD. So in, in the Stationpedia, right, you hit F1 and there's a whole bunch of, of information there right, for you to, to uh, figure out what stuff is and what it does. Um, you know, and then you, you press F1 again to close that, right? But um, I'm going to grab the corn. I'm going to grab the uh, soybeans. Uh, and I'm going to swap the uh, network analyzer for the potatoes and the flares for the tomatoes, right? Um, so, okay, let's very quickly get back in here uh, and plant some plants. Okay. Let's cancel that pressurization. Um, all right, so the ferns we're going to put down um, 
all of them. Uh, let's say four of them. Uh, and what ferns do is scrub the atmosphere, right? Because um, they're, they're just plants and they grow and they they clean out all the CO2 from, from the atmosphere. Right? Um, I'm going to put uh, one corn down. Uh, how many do we have left? We have one, two, uh, five, right? So we're going to put down uh, two corn. One potatoes. Um, in fact, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna not do that. We're gonna take the corn out, right? And you see, when you when you uh, take something uh, out of a of a tray, uh, once it's been planted, that's it. It has gone, right? So be very very careful uh, with what and how many you you put into. Um, not how many sorry just be careful like you don't put the wrong thing in and if you do you just just wait until it um, it's time for it to grow again right? so okay uh, and I'm gonna call it there uh, because the next step is um, is filtration atmosphere filtration and uh, temperature uh, regulation um, so yeah if you like the video, uh, hit the like. If you feel like subscribing, that's fantastic and, and greatly appreciated. Um, and have a great day. And that's little T out. Thanks for watching.